Okay, I'm gonna cover how to free up the rear brake on the John Deere uh, 4000 series machines. You can do this um, really easily. You, the most common issue on the brakes on the 4000 series machines is that one, one side will hang up and it'll, it'll twist. When you go to stop the machine, you'll feel it um, either out of adjustment by twisting or you'll feel it when you go to take off the machine, will feel like it's dragging on one side that's because that one side is probably sticking, right? So when you, when you experience that, you'll know because it'll feel like the machine doesn't want to go and perhaps is twisting when you go to take off. Um, if it's twisting when you go to stop, that means the brakes are just out of adjustment. So one side is braking and the other side is not, right? So you can fix that with a different procedure. Not going to be covered, covering that here, but this is really just if one side is sticking. So what you want to do is you want to set up or take the tire off the machine, right? And you wanna set up the pipe wrench on that lever, that arm, just like that. So you wanna be able to grab that brake lever or arm and be able to move it as if somebody was applying the brakes on the machine. And before you do that, you wanna take a torch. You don't wanna overheat this because there's seals in here and there's a bunch of, there's a bunch of things in here like rubber O-rings and seals that don't like heat, obviously, right? So you don't wanna overheat this all you're gonna do is you're gonna, you're gonna first spray this down with some WD-40 where the shaft goes into the case, right? You're gonna come behind it where the shaft goes into the case, spray all that down, get some WD-40 in there. That's just gonna help uh, loosen up any junk that might be in there. And also when you heat it up, it's gonna draw that WD-40 into the shaft area. And that's gonna really help free it up as you move this wrench on the, on the arm. So you're gonna spray it down with WD-40 Take your torch, nothing fancy. You can use just a straight uh, propane. This is a map gas, which is a little bit hotter, uh, has a benzene in there. And so um, what, you, what you can do is heat the center of the shaft. You don't wanna heat behind the shaft on the case, nothing like that. You're just trying to heat that shaft so that when it goes into the case, it's warm, not hot. So you're gonna do that for about you know 10 seconds and then once, you, once you've done that, you've heated the shaft and you've put the WD-40 on it, now you're gonna take your pipe wrench and you're just gonna operate the brakes as if you were operating the pedal on the machine. And what that's gonna look like, it's gonna look just like this, right? You're gonna, you're gonna pull, if you see it moving, you're gonna pull like this, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You're gonna do that about 50 to 100 times. And it, it will, believe it or not, that sounds like a lot, but it'll, you can do this in about five, 10 minutes. Do that 50 or 100 times, back and forth, back and forth. That will work it loose enough to where it returns to normal again. So that, that would be how you would, you would uh, un, you know, unstick your brakes on one of the sides if they're getting hung up or sticking. You would just operate it manually with a wrench, uh, heating it and using some WD-40 on there, and it will free itself up back to normal and you won't have any issues. This happens usually because the machine sits for a while and maybe it sits for the whole winter and in the spring you go to use it and it's sticking. So it's, it's pretty common, pretty normal, uh, but this is how I've been doing it and it works every time and it never returns until, you know, perhaps the next time you let it sit for six months or whatever you're doing with the machine when it's not being used, it's sitting or whatever. Uh, so, so that's what I recommend. You'll probably have good success with this. And, and it takes you about you know half an hour to get the tire off to do all this and to and to get it working again.